Hello, Joshua Gillow here. Welcome back to Behind the Design. Today we're going to talk about a very uh, common feature that people ask for in their backyards. It's a fireplace, right? We love fireplaces inside of our homes because they create warmth and ambience in, a, in a, an environment that everyone sits around and relaxes after a long day, right? There's something about fire that collects people and brings them together. And there's no better way to do that outside than the same way you do it inside with a fireplace, right? Now, there are so many different ways you can do this, and we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly over the years, and sometimes people will put out a fireplace that, well, you throw some wood in it, it burns you know, wood, and it doesn't connect to anything else on the site, but it's there and it does its job, but it doesn't uh, aesthetically tie into anything else in the property. It looks like a sore thumb. So when done wrong, that could be really bad, uh, not to even mention the whole safety side of things, but in general, when you do an outdoor fireplace, you need to be thinking about a few different pieces, a few different uh, parts, First of all, how much maintenance do you want in there? Like how much time do you want to have in prepping to, to burn a fire? Do you want to be able to come home and, and go out and split wood and bring it over and start it with some kindling and paper and then finally get it going and get it rolling and, and then put it in and then sit down and have a glass of wine? Or are you thinking that you want to turn a switch, have a fire, sit down within 35 seconds and be enjoying yourself? So that's the first question you need to ask yourself. Do you want it to be wood burning or do you want it to be gas fired? That's really up to you. It uh, depends on what your, your want is for that space. So this one here is gas fired. There's a switch on the side. You turn it on, we have fire. It's that fast. You shut it off, you go to bed. There's no embers to worry about, no blowing things around, none of that stuff. We also included a mantle here. This is a barnwood mantle. So it sits out here. It adds that rustic uh, piece from what we have up underneath the roof. We brought that out here so that we have a nice communication between the two spaces. And it allows for her to put some pots up here and put some different uh, items that she might want to make it feel like an inside fireplace, but outside. We also made it really chunky because it fits, fits the overall scale of the stone much better than something really thin. We use the same stone that's on the front of the house for this fireplace because we want it to feel and communicate to the existing architecture of the home uh, very seamlessly. So by using that same stone from the front in here, when you look at the front of the house and you see this at the same time, it all feels very cohesive. It's a very important part of any kind of design for that matter. Now, we use the blue stone on these shoulders to, to can't any water off as it comes down, it drips off just like a little roof on the sides. And that same blue stone and same finish of blue stone is on all of the walls, the capping on all the walls around here and the steppers out into the yard. Again, continuity, super important when you're doing an outdoor living space. If you start mixing up materials all over the place, it looks like a huge hodgepodge of nothing at the end. So keep that in mind when you're planning, keep a very consistent palette of material, and that's gonna give you a much bigger uh, impact and a better design aesthetic throughout. Um, now up underneath this lid, you can see there's two very small lights that shoot down. So in the evening, the lights cast down and they create shadows within that stone to give you a really cool aesthetic if you are sitting out here. Uh, you can also turn them off if you want it to be a lot darker for the fireplace, it's really up to you. On either side of the fireplace, in the hardscape itself, there's two lights that shoot up this space. Because we have to be thinking about, we're not always out here burning the fireplace, but we always want to see it. So imagine it's a, it's a night where you don't want to really burn the space, but you're sitting up on your deck or grilling, and this beautiful structure has light casting up and down on it. And you're looking out just admiring how gorgeous it is with all that light casting and all of the shadowing that's happening within the stone. So it's a very important part to, uh, to planning this is to make sure you have that full night and day um, plan for the space because you don't want to just have it where it looks good in the daytime but you don't see anything at the night. It becomes a feature to look at and also a function at the same time. Super important part of this. Now as far as shape goes, outdoor fireplaces can be just about any shape. This is a bit more of a traditional style, but we can do them super modern. We can do them uh, much taller. We can do them much shorter. Anything can go today. That's the beautiful part about it. There's only a few uh, requirements that we have to be thinking about with the overall either inserts or the uh, fire brick and lift and all the stuff that we have to do inside of there for depending on the type of fuel source you have. But anything you can imagine can be built as a fireplace. There's just so many different uh, options we have. So. Yeah, here at Master Plan, we focus on a design first approach when planning your new backyard to make sure features and details like this fireplace and all the detail within it are laid out beautifully first to make sure you absolutely love every single detail and to make sure that, that it seamlessly ties into the existing architecture of the home so it doesn't feel like a bolt on or something just set in place. Um, so if you're thinking about adding a fireplace or fire ambience in the backyard, reach out to us. That's what we do. We're experts in this field. We help hundreds of homeowners every year solve these same problems and to make sure that they get the very best solution 
for their outdoor space that they can enjoy with their family for years and years and years to come. So thanks for tuning in.